This is the Music History Today podcast for September 16th. On today's show, Miami Vice debuts, The Met opens at Lincoln Center, and Rapper's Delight gets released. First up, though, on this date in 1959, Dick Clark held his first Caravan of Stars concert with Annette Funicello, Paul Anka, and the Coasters. In 1960, Johnny Burnett recorded the song You're 16. In 1965, Dean Martin's TV show, The Dean Martin Show, premiered, and also on that same day, in order to not be confused by Davy Jones of the Monkees, another singer named Davy Jones changed his name to David Bowie. In 1970, Jimi Hendrix played live for the last time. He passed away two days later. In 1972, Peter Frampton played live as a solo artist for the first time. He was originally the guitarist for the group Humble Pie. In 1974, Bob Dylan recorded the songs Blood on the Tracks and Meet Me in the Morning. In 1984, NBC programming genius Brandon Tartikoff famously wrote on a napkin MTV Cops as an idea for a new cop show for the network. That show, Miami Vice, premiered on this day in 1984. The show combined cops, glamour, a whole lot of music, and a visual style that became extremely trendy in the 1980s. In 1988, singer Fish quit the group Marillion. In 1989, Natalie Cole married record producer Andre Fisher. In 1991, Willie Nelson married his wife Annie D'Angelo. In 1993, singer Karen Akers married businessman Kevin Powers, and on that same day, Janet Jackson appeared on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine shirtless and with her breasts covered by the hands of her husband at that time. In 2006, blues guitarist Kenny Wayne Shepherd married his wife Hannah Gibson. In 2016, the members of the Rembrandts reunited for a promotional event for the TV show Friends. The Rembrandts had performed the Friends theme song, I'll Be There For You, back in 1989 when the show premiered. They also co-wrote that song. And in 2017, singer Charlotte Church married musician Johnny Powell and the annual Farm Aid concert took place. In classical music, in 1810, Carl Maria von Weber premiered his opera, Sylvania, And in 1966, the Metropolitan Opera House opened in its current location at Lincoln Center in New York City. Albums that were released on September 16th include in 1963 when the Beach Boys released Surfer Girl. In 1967, Neil Diamond released Just For You. In 1968, the Jimi Hendrix Experience released Electric Ladyland. In 1969, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas released Sugar and Spice and Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell released Easy. In 1977, The Talking Heads released Talking Heads 77, Diana Ross released Baby It's Me, and Pete Townsend with Ronnie Lane released Rough Mix. In 1979, Rory Gallagher released Top Priority. In 1980, John Mellencamp, who was then known as John Cougar, released Nothing Matters and What If It Did. In 1983, Gary Newman released Warriors. In 1984, Deep Purple released Perfect Strangers. In 1985, The Waterboys released This Is The Sea. Marshall Crenshaw released Downtown. Slayer released Hell Awaits. And Kiss released Asylum. In 1987, Lizzie Borden released Visual Lies. In 1988, Easy e released Easy Does It. And Talk Talk released Spirit of Eden. In 1990, Gloria Estefan released Exitos de Gloria Estefan. In 1992, Jonathan Richman released I, Jonathan. In 1997, the Buena Vista Social Club released their self-titled album. Brooks and Dunn released their Greatest Hits collection. And Carly Simon released Film Noir. In 1998, the band released Jubilation. In 2002, Death in Vegas released Scorpio Rising. In 2003, Joss Stone released The Soul Sessions. David Bowie released Reality. In 2013, Elton John released The Diving Board. And in 2014, Barbara Streisand released the album Partners, which eventually made Barbara the first recording artist to have a number one album in six different decades. Quite the feat. 
Singles that were released on September 16th in the UK include in 1977 when Peter Frampton released Signed, Sealed, Delivered, I'm Yours, and in 1981, A Flock of Seagulls released Telecommunication. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, The Beatles released She Loves You. In 1964, Sam Cooke released That's Where It's At. In 1971, Chicago released Questions 67 and 68. In 1979, the Sugar Hill Gang released their groundbreaking hip-hop song, Rapper's Delight, which became the first rap song to hit the top 40 on the Billboard Pop Singles chart, peaking at number 36 at the time. In 1985, Kiss released Tears Are Falling. In 1988, Little Feet released Hate to Lose Your Lovin'. In 1989, Bad English released When I See You Smile. In 1994, Silverchair released Tomorrow. And in 1996, Alanis Morissette released Head Over Feet. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 16th include blues great B.B. King, singer Richard Marks, Nick Jonas of the Jonas Brothers, singer Mark Anthony, Eurodance singer Charisma, a.k.a. Luna, rapper Prince Ia, singer MC Kevin Ho, Bernie Calvert of The Hollies, Ron Blair of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Kenny Jones of The Small Faces, Joe Butler of The Love and Spoonful, David Bellamy of The Bellamy Brothers, Tina Barrett of S Club 7, singer and actress Sabrina Bryan of The Cheetah Girls, singer Teddy Geiger, actress and musician Kyla Pratt, rapper Flo Rida, Betty Kelly of Martha and the Vandellas, Justine Frischman of Elastica, Dave the Snake Sabo of Skid Row, singer Katie Melua, Vicky Blue of The Runaways, Frank Reed of The Shy Lights, guitarist Charlie Boyd, country steel guitarist Ralph Mooney, guitarist Earl Klug, Alan Barton of Black Lace and also the group Smokey, bassist Ian Evans of Leonard Skinnerd, Dave Blood of The Dead Milkmen, Terry McBride of McBride and Ride, Andres Javier Blasquez of Menudo, country music singer-songwriter Phil Lee, trumpet player and session musician Frank Zabo, singer and guitarist for the group Wire, Colin Newman, singer Yolandita Mong, singer-songwriter Mark Schultz, singer and actor Shannon Nall, neo-soul artist Musique, drummer Winston Grennan, Jazz pianist Gordon Beck of the group Nucleus, singer-songwriter John Hendricks of the Lambert Hendricks and Ross songwriting trio, record producer Jerry Wald and composer Nadia Bolanger. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 16th include composer Dirk Sweelink, who passed away in 1652 at the age of 61. Composer Lambert Pitkin passed away in 1696 at the age of 83. Composer Damusus Brosman passed away in 1798 at the age of 67. Composer Antonio Gomez, considered the first composer from the Americas to become successful in Europe, passed away in 1896 at the age of 60. Composer Leo Fall passed away in 1925 at the age of 52. Composer John McCormack passed away in 1945 at the age of 61. Entertainer extraordinaire Miss Mamie Smith passed away in 1946 at the age of 63. Jazz double bassist Ernest Hill passed away in 1964 at the age of 64. Composer An Eek Tai passed away in 1965 at the age of 59. Composer Michael Carr passed away in 1968 at the age of 67. Singer Victor Jara, who was imprisoned by the Chilean regime, was tortured and shot dead in 1973 at the age of 40. 
Mark Bolin of T-Rex passed away in a car accident in 1977 at the age of 29. Opera singer Maria Callas passed away in 1977 at the age of 53. Pianist Bernie Layton passed away in 1994 at the age of 73. Record producer Thomas Jefferson K. passed away from a painkiller overdose in 1994 at the age of 54. Novelty song singer Sheb Woolley passed away in 2003 at the age of 82. Isora Armstead of the group The Weather Girls passed away in 2004 at the age of 62. Composer Harry Friedman passed away in 2005 at the age of 83. Singer and actress Constance Moore passed away in 2005 at the age of 85. Composer and conductor Jean Bellissat passed away in 2007 at the age of 71. Songwriter and record producer Norman Whitfield passed away in 2008 at the age of 68. Mary Travers of Peter, Paul, and Mary passed away from leukemia in 2009 at the age of 72. Blues man Big Eyes Smith passed away from a stroke in 2011 at the age of 75. Singer-songwriter Jackie Lomax passed away in 2013 at the age of 69. Saxophonist Big J. McNeely passed away in 2018 at the age of 91. Guitarist John Cohen passed away in 2019 at the age of 87. Band leader and pianist Vic Vogel passed away in 2019 at the age of 84. And entertainer extraordinaire Miss Jane Powell passed away in 2021 at the age of 92. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 17th when in 1967, Keith Moon of The Who almost blew himself up on stage, literally. Literally. 